I Sharad Kumar along with three other friends has implemented SPADE algorithm in sequential pattern mining. First of all, let us understand the meaning of data mining. Data mining means the process of semi-automatically analyzing larger database to find patterns that are valid, novel, useful and understandable. Data mining means knowledge discovery in databases. Before diving into sequential pattern mining, let us understand what is meant by sequential database. Sequential database consists of n number of sequences. Each, each contains n number of events and each sequence has a sequence ID. What is sequential pattern mining? Sequential pattern mining is the mining of frequently occurring ordered events or subsequences as patterns. A frequent sequence is called sequential pattern and a sequential pattern supports the minimum count. The, let us look at the methods for sequential pattern mining. There are two approaches, a priori based approach and pattern growth based approach. SPADE comes under a priori based approach. Now let us have a close look of the SPADE algorithm. SPADE means sequential pattern discovery using equivalent class. In the SPADE algorithm, we will generate vertical data format from the horizontal data format which is shown in this slide. Here we can see the vertical data format. In the vertical database format, there is sequence ID, event ID and the items. When compared to the GSP, sequence SPADE algorithm access the database only once and creates vertical database format. After creation of this vertical database format, it is used to generate ID list. ID list for one, some sequ one sequences is generated first, then for two sequences, then for three sequences. ID list for two sequences generated from the frequent items found in the ID list for some one sequences and ID list for three sequences generated from the frequent items found in the ID list for two sequences. And these are the applications of the sequential pattern mining. Some of them are customer shopping sequences, medical treatments, natural disasters, stock and markets, telephone calling patterns, weblog click streams, and uh, in biological aspects, DNA sequences and gene structures. Now let us take a data set and implement SPADE algorithm on it. This is one of the sequential database on which SPADE algorithm can be applied. This data set describes the page visits of users who visited msnbc.com on September 28, 1999. Here each sequence in the database corresponds to the page use of a user during that 24 hour. This is the user interface of the project. Here we should enter the name of the database on which a SPADE algorithm is to be applied. MSNBC and the minimum support 4 and the output file to which the output should be stored is entered here. Then when we click on subsequent items, sequence patterns are generated and it's stored in the output file and it it is displayed like this. Sequence one items and followed by sequence two items and so on. Thank you.